magazine that came out of that experience uh, in 1988. Uh, so I picked uh, Fiddleheads. It's lovely to see a picture of a Fiddlehead in the last presentation. And Morels and Wild Leagues and things like that. And sold them to restaurants and took them to people like Michael Statlander. And he made them into kind of cuisine. And so I thought, Wild, I'm picking this thing that people can't grow. You can't buy it in a grocery store and he makes it into culture, so I thought, okay, wild culture. Uh, jump to today, where we're doing a weekly salon, and we're doing a thing called Wild Culture New Vaudeville, which is kind of avant-garde uh, variety show. We did it at the Rivoli last week, and we're doing it on February 8th again. Um, and when I was in London, I lived in London for two years, uh, just recently, and I kind of auditioned design and branding agencies, and I told them the story about picking fiddleheads and doing the magazine in 1988, and, and they came up with these um, these ideas of what wild culture uh, might be. And um, bravery is something that I've always been interested in, and because I think sort of bravery and courage is is one of the hardest things um, to do, and so that's something that they came upon. There's this this is like a, a, a you know I don't know what it is in his mouth. Um, the, uh, the magazine that we, well, it's not a magazine, it was a magazine. Um, we're trying to gather uh, people who are interested in um, the idea of, of wild culture and what wild culture means to them. When we did the magazine in the 80s, um, it, uh, we never defined it, and it seemed that people could define themselves in. And, uh, I mean, I, my definition is kind of that it's sort of the articulated space between what humans do and what they can't control, and wild and culture, and culture being something that we can kind of, uh, you know, manage. Um, but it's sort of up to anyone to come and uh, present what they have and, and, and see if the, the cultivated, I mean, in most cultivated minds, there's a wild part that wants to express itself. And uh, a big part of wild culture for us was always the fun and the, the, punk, the, the quirky and the ironic and the playful, which was juxtaposed with, with a kind of critical edge about uh, how the world's going to hell in a handbasket and how there actually is a huge amount to be done. And, um, I mean, we have this kind of multifaceted uh, crisis on our hands, and it seems that... Um, we need a, an equal or, or greater uh, series of approaches um, to turn it around. And it's going to probably cost us a lot of money because the people who made so much money screwing up the world, uh, you know, they, they got very rich doing so. So we're probably going to have to pay for it. So this is, um, these are ideas for the website and the new uh, the online kind of, it's sort of like a, an online venue in the sense that this club is a, a venue or an art gallery is a venue where creative people come and they um, belong to uh, a network of, of uh, similarly minded people and they talk and uh, they find commonalities and they kind of inspire each other and turn each other on. And so the idea with Wild Culture Online is that it's a, it's a convening space for people to uh, do things together. And that there, it's a kind of, there's a social media aspect to it, um, but that it's, uh, uh, it's really a work uh, media site where people are getting together and, and sort of sharing uh, what they do and what they, what they would like to have people help them with that they can't do. Um, and so it's uh, it, it, in a sense that th there's a kind of intellectual intercourse going on here and that with, uh, with profiles where you're sort of saying, well, this is the kind of thinking or and making person uh, that I am and that I'm interested in, in meeting other people who can do stuff. And so the idea is to get the thing going. Hopefully we'll be launching it in April or May and to invite people to come in and have profile pages and meet each other. Um, someone came to me, he wants to write reviews uh, on music. He's a kind of uh, psycho Billy uh, freak. Uh, and so we're going to try and get him to do a radio show on psycho Billy. 
and then meet other people who are into that, and then they'll do stuff together. So here's a report. So try to contain like the pie. Here we have six components of the editorial. So we would like to have maybe six or eight, maybe at the most, of, of, of areas in which all editorial content, curated editorial content, would go into, which makes it easier for the reader and the um, and the uh, and the contributor. And this is road trip. Well, so road trip is one aspect. Uh, this is an Ed Bertinsky uh, photo, um, and so we would have different people's road trips. And I think of road trip as a very, um, uh, I mean, it's a, it's a kind of uh, overarching concept for all of us. We all have road trips. We have kind of mind trips. Uh, we can have, uh, you know, a weekend trip that can change our lives. We can go and travel around the world. And, and so it's, it's, um, finding the kind of theme of that to express who we are, where we're coming from and where we're going and what we're learning. To join, uh, so the participating idea is really the, the overriding one. There's also if you join, you become a supporter or an observer. Uh, so people who are shy, they might want to observe to start. And then here's an example of a profile page where, yeah, there's a personal thing. Uh, this guy is male, single, and likes uh, is into females. But everything else is about the thinking person. I mean, I think the Lonely Hearts Club thing always has to exist. And so um, that's, uh, I think, pretty well it. This is the logo, kind of. It's sort of like the digestive system, but it's also like a maze, and it's got two entrances, uh, and then two exits, two entrances. And I would like to invite you to enter. Uh, and uh, work with us uh, on this and uh, see what you can do. Thank you.